guys, before we begin today's video, we just wanted to take a moment to thank everybody who shopped our great big pumpkin pail sale last Sunday. We were yes, so thank surprised. You. We had a great turnout. Thank you for everyone who even just checked out the site, who bought, and special thank you to those who bought our No Pumpkin Left Behind t-shirt. We're so yes. excited. We're gonna take the week to pack orders and get those out to you guys as soon as possible, but just wanted to thank everyone for participating and supporting us. But let's get on to today's thrifting video. I think it's a really good one. everyone and welcome back to Shiny Bright Doggo. I'm Laura and I'm Janine and today we're going thrifting yet again. Um, we weren't gonna go today but the thrift stores have been giving us such good vintage Halloween. Yeah. So let's head out to My Unique in North Plainfield, New Jersey and see what they've got. I'm so excited. Fingers crossed. Let's go. Let's go. And the fact that it's layered like that. That's pretty cool. It does look older. Right? Huh, how much, it'd be a uh, dollar. That might be good to pick up. Right? Maybe. I found these really cute, um, probably like 80s or 90s pumpkin pillows and they're in pretty good condition. They'd be two dollars each. They're really big too. Isn't that cute? I'm gonna get a card for us. Got some old leaf bags here. Those are fun. Reminds me of being a kid. Janine, you found some cool die cuts. Well, actually one die yeah. cut, right? Wow, oh, look at that. The placement's cute. That placement is really cute. It'd be 50 cents. Love that die cut. That's a good find. Very interesting. There was a mark on here, but it's come off, so I'm not too sure. Oh, they're actually salt and pepper shakers. These are so cool. And then I also found this deer, which I love because she has got a really cute face, glitter, and she's also probably made in Japan by Betson, which I've never seen before. Putting these in my cart for now, just to see, and I think I'm also gonna put her in my cart. She'd be a dollar fifty. Everything is fifty percent off today, so that would be a good price. What do you got there? Wow, I've never seen a pink one before. I really like it. That's really cool. <laughs> that is your mask. Look at this. Oh how cute is that? It's a stamping pad with cute little That's Halloween. like so nineties, yeah. It's Russ. Made in Taiwan. Yeah, there's a um, there's a pumpkin back there. Maybe they'll bring it out in time for us. I have a bunch of stuff in the cart. Oh my goodness. This is really cute. Little um, Wizard of Oz puzzle, which is vintage. Look at those graphics. $7.99, geez. It's really cute though. I hate to be that person that just grabs right off the cart, but I did it in a nice way. I didn't just like push my way to it. So I have to find Janine. Oh my God. <laughs> I love this guy. 50 cents, everything's 50% off today. Wow. Look at this Janine. There's a shrieking ghost. Look at how cute the packaging is. Wow, that's cool. Oh, look at him. This is like the one we had as a kid. Can't get him out of there. Oh, he's oh, cute. Yeah, he's cute. He's a little dirty, but he's really cute. Look at these. I love the box. Oh, those are so bag. cute. That's really cute. I like those. Right? Mm hmm. So this looks like a lot of the flashlights that we've seen before with the blow mold top, but this is definitely going to be newer. You know, it's made in China, but you would never see like this type of graphic on the handle. It'd be a much bigger handle and it would use like big batteries. So that's one way you could tell that a little flashlight guy like this is newer. You got it? Well, it fell out. Oh, it fell out? And then I, I picked it up and I was like, I guess I could put it in my and... cart. Wow, nice. Some really cute pumpkin plates. I've seen this turkey one before. That one's more common. Mm. These were popular in like the 90s, I think. The 80s. I like this little pumpkin guy, he's cute. I don't think they're marked. Yeah, there's no yeah. price on them. Hmm. This bag of light covers is really cute. Got some Frankenstein, oh, yeah. some pumpkins some in there. We Frankensteins too. We do. I think it's worth picking up for the I've never seen this one before. 
with that thing? Yeah. It'd only be um a dollar, which isn't bad. Two different Frankenstein faces. Hmm. She's putting it in the cart. There it goes. Oh gosh. Here are some McDonald's buckets. They are from, I think, the 90s. Let's see, uh, 1999. Yep, early 2000s. And, you know, if they have their lids, they can go for like 10 or so dollars, five to ten dollars on eBay. But they don't have their lids, so we won't pick them up. But if you like to decorate with them, 50 cents is not bad. These are sort of cute, but they're definitely newer. They look like they're from Oriental Trading. Made in China. Oh, he's sort of cute. He's probably newer. Yeah, I'm not gonna bother looking, but he still has a cute face. And we weren't even gonna go thrifting today. No. Look at that. I spent a total of $14. Janine spent six, I think. Yeah. Um, let's dive right into what we got. All right, guys, we've got quite the haul. We found some amazing things at the thrift store today. I, I only see orange. <laughs> I find a lot of the times with packaging that's like really colorful and like lots of artwork and little poems is usually like indicative of an item that's from the 80s or the 90s. You just don't quite see packaging like this anymore. So that's one tip and trick. I usually don't pick up these deer because they're pretty common, but this one I thought was different because she has glitter in her eyes and sort of this starburst hmm. motif. Yeah, she's wearing a little hat. <laughs> Very mid-century and she's a good size too. She does have a mark right here, hand painted Betson. Oh, did she have no made in Japan sticker, but she's most likely made in Japan from the mid century. These were pretty common back then and I only paid $1.50 for her. So she will be available on my eBay, link in the description. She's so cute. She is. Picked up some really cute Halloween cookie cutters because they were only 50 cents. Got some cute 90s images like that spider, little witch face. I love this ghost. Oh, it's so cute. How fun. I found this die cut like on the floor, actually. Um, it's by Fun World, made in Hong Kong. So this is probably from the 70s. Mm -hmm. Die cuts that were made in Hong Kong are usually from the 70s or the 80s. And Fun World made a lot of the trick or treat bags from the 80s and 90s. So keep a lookout for that. And I only paid 25 cents for this, so fun find. I picked up this bag of, of heads. Of heads. <laughs> um, these are actually light covers. So when you see a blow mold about this size with the little opening right there, it would typically would have belonged to a set of string lights. So we have some of the Frankensteins and pumpkins at home. I might try to make a complete set or just sell these individually. I only paid a dollar for all of these. So I thought that was a pretty good price to resell. I found this guy, which was really exciting because he's definitely a rare pumpkin pail. We haven't seen any of these in person before. So. I was so excited. I was like, go, go, You were go. like, <laughs> yeah. just like this. Um, so I only paid 50 cents for him. I'm gonna pull back this sticker. I actually don't know who he's made by. It might say it on the barcode. So I'm gonna carefully try to get this up. Doesn't say. I do know that this sells for about $20 on eBay. So to get him only for 50 cents was quite a steal. Yeah. Definitely older with those rivets, thicker plastic and bigger handle. Janine's probably gonna hate me for picking these up. <laughs> I mean, they're not my favorite thing in the world. So I'll, I'll tell you that. I mean, I don't know. I just thought there was something so different about these little children they're sitting definitely on different. giant chickens. Yeah. Um, <laughs> $5 for the set and it was 50% off. They were more expensive, I probably wouldn't have picked them up. No maker's mark or anything on the bottom. So if you guys have any other information about these or know who made them, leave a comment, I'd love to know. But I just thought they were so like fun and different and kitschy. Um, I just had to get them, sorry Janine. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh. Guys, this is an amazing score. Oh my God, one of our favorites too. Love the top hat um, pumpkin, pumpkin pal. He is so cute. Um, so I don't quite know the maker and I don't think it says it on here. This might be a Carolina Enterprise or- I think it might be Union. Union Empire, not too sure, we'll have to see, but we only paid $1.50 for him. I can't believe it. Unheard of. He is so cool. Look at that face. He's from the 70s most likely and really collectible. This could probably resell for around $40. He's a blow mold more. by the way. I he don't think you, you mentioned. Did I not? <laughs> He even has his original uh, light cord, probably original, maybe not, but. Yeah, it does have a an old, like tiny, tiny little plug. 
but he's so cool. This was definitely like my favorite find of the day and he came right off the cart. I saw them wheeling him out and I just, I grabbed yep. him, which I don't like to do. I feel bad, but like for him, I had to. Yeah, fabulous. Fabulous. Okay, now on to um, some of the things I found. I got this cute little witch. She reminds me of Adventure Time. I don't know if anyone is familiar with, but um, kind of gave me a little bit of the um, Ice King vibes here with his <laughs> little, her little nose. But I thought she was cute. And uh, she's just made in China, you know, anywhere from like the 90s to now. When you get, actually with like, with stuffed animals, when they kind of have this like tufting and almost like parachute like extremities and stuff it's typically from like the 90s they did a lot of that with um stuffed animals and plush so if you want to date something like that that would probably be more of the 90s i found a really cool die cut this one we don't have i was really excited to find it's this really fun haunted house i don't think it says who made it but i just love it love the haunted house love all the different Oops. Love all the different characters. That is so this fun. This little octopus guy eating a, a lollipop. I love this one. This might be what? You think 80s? Just by the yeah, illustrations? I, I think 80s. I'm not... It is double-sided, which um, most newer die cuts are double-sided. Um, it The illustration does look 80s, don't you think? I do. Maybe um, even early 90s. It's yeah. really cool really cool and it was only 50 cents it was 50 cents they got a couple window clings and they unfortunately stapled it together which is uh i'm gonna have to carefully peel it but i really 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 am happy with this find we got two fun pumpkins here we have a grand venture pail and a general foam pail i picked this one up because of the bright fun color that it is this one is like i said general foam thicker plastic so it's a little bit older i think this one's probably from the mid not mid from i think this one's probably from the early 2000s um very thick plastic great color and great face got a silly face here as well this is a grand venture pail a lot of the grand venture pails that i found are from the 90s i would guess that this one is along the same line as that uh this is again that thick plastic it has a very thick band handle here and an all-around great little face yeah this guy's actually worth like 20 or so dollars so if you see him don't pass him by because he looks brand new he's actually a pretty collectible mm -hmm. vintage halloween piece from like janine said the 90s early 2000s and he was 50 cents amazing i thought this was so cute and would display really nicely like how cute is that it's so cute it's giving me such like 80s 90s halloween vibes mm -hmm. you could just see it you know it brings back my childhood yeah, yeah i i mean i don't know how many of the uh 90s moms out there used to do rubber stamps but mine and uh many of my friends moms were very into rubber stamping <laughs> so this was very nostalgic for me to find i found this happy halloween banner and i couldn't quite make out like what it has on it but i did see one thing it is 1989 Vaisal. Oh, wow. Yeah. So I don't know if it's just jack-o'-lanterns or what it is. So we're going to open, open it? it. Yeah, we're going to open it up oh, and show you. And Janine paid only 50 cents for this. So here it is all laid out. That's a fun one. Yeah, I don't, I've don't. i never seen this one before. Yeah, you've got three different graphics. We've got the classic jack-o'-lantern here. This really cool, like, haunted I tree. That spooky tree. Spooky tree. And I love, like, this, like, you know, ghosty, smoky stuff that's going mm -hmm. all along the edge. I think it's supposed to be wind blowing No, the leaves, it's right? the end of the ghost, I think. Oh, it might be. It's pretty big. It's really cool. Great find, Janine. That's really cool. It's a lot cooler than I thought it was going to be. And finally, the last thing I found was this little bag of, like, creepy crawlies. And... I don't know what, like, if this was homemade or what this was, but I thought these little bats were just adorable. Oh, that is so cute. There's two of these little bats in there. Is he missing his eye? He might be, but that's <laughs> fine. He's winking. He reminds me of the chenille um, Santas and angels from, like, yes. the 50s and 60s. That's what I thought when I first saw it. I was like, what is that? And then I realized it's a little bat. So this one has its little eyes. Oh, he's so Here, cute. Sure. Because I'm about to drop this bag. Oh okay. my goodness. Do you guys see how cute this is? Let me get better lighting. 
Oh, so cute. I love that. Whoever crafted these did a fantastic job. So what a great day at the thrift stores on a day that we weren't even planning on going. Yeah. It really just proves that you can head to the thrift stores at any time, any day. We just went out at three o'clock in the afternoon and found some amazing vintage Halloween. So we hope you guys enjoyed. Thanks for joining us. We hope you picked up some new tips and tricks on how to spot the vintage Halloween in your thrift stores. And until next time, guys, thanks for joining us. See you next time. Bye. Bye. Bye.